Hi, so on this slide, like I said, on the audio, um, this is just sort of a summary of the main points that the last activity was supposed to get at. So one of the things was uh, in your learning target, it talks about how you are supposed to know how to write an answer in terms of pi. And that just basically means you're not going to use any approximation for pi in your calculator. You're just going to write the actual symbol for pi as part of your answer. So what that might look like for these three problems I have here. So here's the first one. You can see that uh, I figured out that the area is pi times r squared. In this case, the radius is 6. And so 6 squared is 36. So I get down to the point where I have the area equals pi times 36. So formerly, you would have put in like 3.14 times 36 in your calculator and gotten an approximation for what that might be. But if we want to be really specific, we're going to keep the symbol for pi in our answer. And so we're going to say uh, 36 pi units squared. And I'll show you what that looks like writing that right now. 36 pi units squared. Just like with variables, remember how we learned that a variable next to a number with no symbol in between means that you multiply it? Same thing with pi. 36 pi is uh, means 36 times pi. So for the next problem, instead of uh, area equals pi times 9 units squared, you would just kind of flip it around. Pi, uh, 9 pi units squared would be the answer for one of those circles. And then in that case, you would have to multiply it by 4 because there are 4 of those circles. And then in the final example, one of those little tiny circles was um, had an area of pi times 4. So you would rewrite that as 4 pi units squared for one of those little circles. And of course, you would be um, multiplying that by 9 because there were 9 of them in that image. That's what that ends up looking like.